Hey everybody, I don't have anything at all to say. I'm doing this video basically because it's the end of the day and I'm about to wash my face and my makeup came out really good today and I wanted to remember it. Uh, the reason it came out good, I, I've been having really bad makeup days is because my skin has changed now that I've gotten older. Before my skin used to be oilier and when the makeup would get on it would start out a little dry but once the oils would come in it would smooth out and turn really nice. Well it's not so oil anymore and now it seems like the makeup just lays on my skin and it looks dry and it gets caught in all the little you know textured things and so forth. So I've been mixing within my moisturizer just a little drop of vitamin E oil. I put that on first and then I put the makeup on and it seems to work. And I know I can hear people out there screaming saying, why don't you use primer? You know, primer never did anything for me. Even younger, I would use primer. It was a waste of time. I'm using primer now. It wouldn't do anything. It didn't help. The only thing that has helped has been the vitamin E oil. That's all that's really made a big difference. And I can really see the difference. It looks great and the makeup lasts. It does really well. So that's my new trick and I wanted to show that. The other thing I wanted to show is it's been a while since I've done a hair video. Uh, a lot of people have been interested in how things are going, and this is how it is going. It's really nice. I'm really happy with it. I say that all the time, but it's true. I am really happy with it. Um, this is it. I don't know if you can see it all. This is it. And it's growing really, really long. We've reached the two year, nine month mark. And this is the longest that my hair has ever been. I believe that it would be even longer looking if it were not locked, but it is. So everything is just sort of matted up. But if it were not matted and I would have taken it out, it would be so much longer. But this is the longer that it's been. Um, my routine has not changed much. I basically, you know, wash it with, with a, whatever is available. Baby shampoo. I have a 100% um, tea shampoo that I buy from Fantasia. I use that diluted in water with a bottle. And I put it in and just lather it on and rinse it out. And I wash my hair maybe once a week. You know, and that's basically it. And I have this spray bottle. This spray bottle is my special elixir. What it is, is it's basically just um, distilled water, avocado oil, and some sort of scented, um, maybe essential oil. The ones that I put in, I like to use peppermint oil a lot and I like to use uh, coconut cream. And it smells really good together. And it's just something to put a little bit of moisture in and also to uh, freshen it up, you know, and so forth. And then um, I do a uh, vinegar wash maybe once or twice a year. And it's just distilled vinegar and distilled water. Heat it up a little bit, and I put it in my hair, and put a stocking cap on, well, wet my hair first, then I saturate my hair in that. I put a stocking cap and let it sit on there while I shower, and then I rinse it out. And that's what keeps the buildup down. But otherwise, this is it, and it's it's been really easy to take care of. Um, you know, I'm just so grateful that I have done this. I mean, it this is one of the best decisions that I've made. You know, I have a lot of struggles with my health. And years ago, when I realized that my health was not getting better, that I was losing a lot of energy and I was at a lower capacity, there were lots of things that I used to be involved with that I had to give up. I was really very much involved with my church. I had to give that up. 
Um, the hair became too high maintenance. I went natural for a while and that didn't seem to, so I, it was still very high maintenance. And so eventually I decided I was going to lock and this has been the great, the best decision for me, you know, so it has cut down on a lot of excess time that I was wasting on things that just sapped my energy. And now I am ready to focus on things that are much more edifying for me and um, that will contribute to my overall health and well-being. So this is where I begin to start that journey and I am really excited about it. And so there's not much else to tell. The gray, you know, I have this link well, I have this folder that I built um, on my computer and I call it, it's titled The Graying Mantis. <laughs> and it's just, you know, uh, talking about just living a better life through prayer and, you know, just trying to live my best life as best I can do. And I'm really liking how this is turning out. And um, yeah, that's it. So I hope you all are well, and if you have any questions for me or any comments, you can leave them in the description bar below, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.